Hi, today is the 15th of May. Welcome to our meditation on grace, wisdom, and words. And today is we are going to read for the last time for the moment Proverbs chapter 10, verse 11. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, of course, and you know that. I would like to read two more texts. The first one is in James chapter 1, verse 26. Yesterday we meditated on James as well. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. Religion is already worthless, but this one is even worse. A life with Jesus is not a religion, it's a relationship with him. He becomes your life and uh, wherever you go, you have him in your heart. You talk to him, he talks to you, you have a relationship with you. The same way you have, a, I mean, even better, but like you have a relationship with your husband, with your wife, with your children, with your friends. Jesus becomes a friend of you, for you. So that's not religion. But lots of people in, a, in that church to, to whom James wrote this letter were having a lot of problem with their tongues. They couldn't put a tight, keep a tight rein on their tongues. You, you know that because when you read the letter, you, you realize that James is talking a lot about the problems uh, relate, uh, in relationship with the tongue. Here in chapter 2, in chapter 3, chapter 4, the whole chapter 3 and chapter 4. So there was a problem there. And they, and, but of course, they still considered themselves as religious, but they couldn't keep a tight rein on their tongues. So they were deceiving themselves because they had, uh, uh, um, and they, people thought that they were spiritual, that they were religious, but when they spoke, they realized that they, they were not at all and they were deceiving themselves. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. Must keep their tongue from evil if you want to live a long life. So it is, a, it is actually a nice way to go to, it's a nice conclusion for these meditations that we started a week ago. On this chapter 10 verse 11 because it's, it's saying actually this the, what we've been saying before that when you bless someone with the tongue you will be blessed as well actually you are already being blessed if you love life if you wanted to see good days you have to keep your tongue from evil because if you don't keep your tongue from evil you are going to hear to see bad days and again as we read Proverbs chapter 10, verse 11, you cannot be a fountain of life unless you keep your tongue from evil. You cannot. There is no relationship between eternal life and evil, glory and sin, grace and sin, justice and injustice. Things from God, from his kingdom, they are miles and, and miles and miles away from whatever we are building up here with our own strength. Nothing to do. So God bless and help you to keep your tongue away from evil. God bless you.